Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right, so this is the Sanjay Leela's latest release. Like, this is one of his newest movies, actually. When the trailer came out, everybody was talking about it. And Arijit Singh is doing this particular song, uh, which is very classical influenced. And it's uh, one of the most modernistic takes about the two influences. So Gosh. let's have a look. I know that this movie is based on a true story, but this is as far as my knowledge goes. Okay. What are those, like uh, paintings of the gods? Because that's quite interesting about like the whole thing in, in India, if you look at movies that are somewhat historically yeah, aligned. I don't actually know. I hadn't really paid too much attention. Maybe the was, historical figures, perhaps? I was just looking at the, uh, at the reflection. Go on. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Thunder and the strings come in, nice. Okay, who, uh, what, who composed this score? That's a nice way of, like, if I think of colours, there's that kind of colour palette of, like, browns mm. and mm. harsh uh, structure. You know, you know when you yes. amp, amp up the sharpness of a, of a yeah, like, photo? I think of those type of uh, string arrangements. That's so weird how someone mm. can depict that. Again, this is a historical composed by Sanjay Leela. Oh. So it's his composition again. So okay. it was arranged by Raja Pandit, but the, the composition. Familiar name, yeah. Go on. Yeah, the composition is, is Sanjay's. Yeah, that is how like, back in the day they used to do makeup, right? With that. Uh, I don't know if this is like. I, I got I got a do lot some of research questions. after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love the correlation of the video editing with the twenties. Uh, right. I mean, can we talk about that core progression itself though? It's all over the place. It's so in incredibly unpredictable. It is intriguing how the sort of the brightness and the you know the big clings mm -hmm. of things do ignite something both you know sort of visually and auditory so i do wonder whether this was like a, a piece of the movie in the sense of the, like what the video we're seeing yeah was like a scene in the movie or whether it was specifically made so as a music video for the song no i know that that because i watched the trailer so that part that's part of the set that's I part see. of like the cd development itself um, so see those type of clings and that that correlation between both is so meta to me like it's so fourth world breaking it is it's crazy how they do that so often well they did that also in la lishka yep uh Ish so Ish and they had those ting ting bell yeah. sounds and they ignited something different yeah that's, that's very right. true so that's it's right. sort of common <laughs> Oh, sorry. Here we go with the with the huge. Oh, it's on Amazon Prime. Let's go. Oh, we can watch it. Yeah, maybe maybe worth. Well, play oh, on Amazon Prime cool. Music. Well, I would double check if it's on Amazon Prime, but I'd it's love brand to. new. It's brand new. I don't know if there's any in any like. I think it like the first week of March was supposed to be like the 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 actual premiere, but I don't know if it. It is was it, only on big cinemas. Is a question. Um, mm -hmm. When, yeah, when like big releases happen, do they uniquely happen uh, in the sort of cinema or is it, you know, nowadays it's quite confusing even in the West. <laughs> like, you know, Ryan Reynolds can release a movie, but it's only on Netflix or yeah. Amazon Prime or something yeah. like that. So is it the same sort of there? Um, or it, it, or it, what, what, can you tell the difference between a big budget movie in the sense of uh, it's going to be only on cinemas? And between a like a Netflix movie, because nowadays it's quite hard to tell the difference. You, like, I guess you still can to a certain extent, but not I don't really. Because not... did you get to watch Don't Look Up on Netflix? With like, it has a, a listers actors. The yeah, budget yeah. was like absolutely astronomical, and the finished film, uh, fantastic, yeah, yeah, absolutely fantastic. I think it got awarded and everything for so it's hard. how good and woke. I guess you can tell was. more. Um, in the sense of budget 
Mm, but then again, you can for have... promotions. Yeah, for promotions. Yeah. And what I their suppose. budget is like for promotions. Like if it's the interviews fucking left and right, it's most yeah. likely gonna be in the cinema. Yeah, you know what but I mean. But that's a very that's a very obsolete like uh, all day cinema approach to it because now you can do a lot and the movie would still be just as uh, popular if you don't uh, spend so much true, money true, on true. like it's mainstream just... media yeah. interviews and whatever. The reason why I'm asking is because obviously you know. Indian movie, the Indian movie industry is quite different. Yeah, Same that's as why. the music industry, even the way and the manner that they produce and create hits is very and different. And how they promote things themselves is well, definitely different. Adi Jit's an example of that, right? The reason why he, sort of one of his biggest hits, Tum Hi Ho, was you know, correlated to a movie. So mm-hmm. this happens quite often. So they no. sort of formulated that, that, that unique sort of uh, way of creating hits. Like, I mean, look at the color palette alone, and then the set itself is absolutely astronomical. Oh. They screams money. <laughs> awesome. Again. Oh, girl. Fuck, dude. So there were phones and watches, so this must be 1940s. Yeah, it's definitely... Uh, it's dude, def- what the fuck is going on? Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's Christ. what I said. That's what I said. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. She got attacked. That's that's a gash in half. Go. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. That's that's interesting progression, especially with the. Because it's like. She's she's obviously beating down on a man, and they're sort of you know introducing the idea of difficulty and ginormous you know ginormous physical consequences mm. uh, of of whatever choices she choices decides to making, make right yeah. it's very hard to try and depict what the actual story is uh, and because it is historically aligned mm-hmm. i have no bloody clue and i don't even think it's fair to guess i think i it, so far what i what i very superficially read was that she was a feminist uh a figure like a an activist an activist that's what it is um, and she was really ahead of her time and people really, you know, women really followed her, her way of thinking. So they had watches, um, there was, I saw a motorbike, uh, yeah, I so I imagine 50s, like, 40s. Yeah, I think it's definitely around ni- 1950s, yeah, Probably. definitely, but then again, who knows, right? Some hope. Very beautiful. That's fucking sick. Pull back. Yeah. When she shakes in the fucking thing, you get a a a, a, thing. a checkers. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, as as if it was her wrists, her uh, jangly jingly of the wrist. See that when I first saw that action on Vajirao Mastani. Like how they blessed each other's feet <laughs> at their arrival. I was like, oh my god, that's such a beautiful thing. That's such a re- like uh, respectful way of like greeting somebody. I had never seen it done before. It's like I a don't blessing, know. right? It's like giving someone. A... It's like you're giving you're giving them your your blessing. That is, I thought that was, that was so beautiful. And I don't know if that's just ritually Hindu from the Hinduism, Hinduism. or or if it's if it's cultural to to the geographical accident that is india or or i don't know i don't know and i and i was i was i was dying to ask a question this is no, a really here. intriguing piece because i mean it's obviously quite short as well but um it's quite emotionally packed though yeah probably it, it i think the only reference point that i can provide is that amir uh khan or jan i know i no longer know how to pronounce it mm. um movie where he's talking about the wrestlers his daughters uh-huh. that that piece specifically uh and i think that Egypt was also involved mm-hmm. um it did that really well as well in 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 intensifying the the visual experience through through audio uh but telling a very you know oblique sort of painting a very oblique picture this one is sort of similar to that um mm-hmm. to, to that extent of mastery um, and it, it's just, to be honest, it's quite disappointing that I don't, we don't really see that in the West as much that with that sort of a capability as frequent. Because that's the thing, it's like, it, it seems to happen quite often. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I guess this would be a good argument. You know, a lot of people say it's like, oh, you know, Bollywood of the past it used to be a lot better. But I haven't seen the movie. But I mean, in terms, in terms of composition or, or, 
you know, magnitude. Musical complexity. Itself. Yeah, yeah, this is certainly bloody up there. I don't know how popular this is. I have no idea, but it, that is, it's very up there. Well, and it was a very, uh, what is, anticipated film. Okay. Uh, so given the fact that it's a Sanjay Leela uh, production. And so that involved. Yeah, so, yeah, so a lot of anticipation was really hyped for this movie, but I don't really know. And obviously the, the theme of the movie itself was really talked about. Okay. So um, I, I perhaps this is one of those movies that will be a staple classic in the years to come. I would still like knows? to revisit the lyrics at the end, because yeah. it's quite hard to keep up with everything. I mean, come on, that line and that chord progression just to in it give you that much more uh, to the heart. Even suffering must be embraced with joy. That's that takes courage. Not a lot of pain. Not a lot of people are open to embrace pain that way. And I think it comes with like years of suffering and that you classic, learn and then classical progressions are the best at creating suspense or or, or heartbreak yeah or yeah disdain like pain is so crazy i don't know why specifically that this particular piece just screams to me stale hurt it's right. like it's 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 like uh numb. no it's not numb it's like you are so used to the pain now but it's been with you for years, type of pain. So it's become stale. Okay. It's a bit bitter, but yeah, that's that's how I would describe An this core progression. Yeah, it's just always there, type thing. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> They, they definitely added the the edits of the cling post production. I don't think in the movie. Well, that, the jingles, the jingles. No, the you know what? every time there's the cling, uh -huh. the picture brightens up. Yes, I think that's definitely post production. I think so too. Post movie production that wasn't in the movie, I would imagine. Um, but I think this is just like a compiling of things, yeah, of, yeah, things yeah. of the movie. Um, but it is, it is in yeah again like those type of details just add so much. At least to me, I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. people don't like them. Maybe they were like, what the fuck. No, but I to think they add so much. Yeah, yeah, go on. I need That's wonderful to, I need to listen to that again. Pull it again. Come Pull on. that last bit again. Jesus, that is a singing phrase that I have. Oh, that scene. That's gonna make me cry if I watch it. Gosh! The fourth world breaking in that direction right at the end. That's the best, again, that's one of the best exemplifications of, or depictions of acting through the song without mm -hmm. singing it <laughs> uh, absolutely because again this this particular uh, compilation of scenes that we have seen here are actually outside of the 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 song composition yeah, itself like, so it's a compilation of things that happened in the movie yeah like i don't think the, the song was actually gonna be playing as the movie is playing that's right maybe but it's more like in the more traditional soundtrack sense but it's one of those videos that is so well edited <laughs> right so that they actually soak you into that reality and then you have many questions. It does the job of like, okay, let's watch the movie because that's exactly what I want to do now. <laughs> uh, I want to know a little bit more about the backstory to this. Let me go down. Oh, it's on Netflix. Oh, it's on Netflix? But well, at least maybe, that's what it says here. Look, maybe it's, it's like Netflix India. I would have to get a VPN. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no, for real. Go down. I've had to do that several times, actually. Go down. Maybe in the comments, there's some English comments. The look into her eyes is so haunting. Mm. I find myself tearing up several times during the video. Truly a masterpiece. Everything from the music, cinematography, to be acting is brilliant. Adiji's voice always touches my heart. The pain. Yeah, I'm intrigued into... Um, to knowing what is this is. Yeah, I know, you know, Sanjay Leela is sort of... Muska... Muska... He, he is sort of known for creating this age, ageless... Uh, Films. Compositions, yeah. yeah. So, 
intriguing. I mean, I, I would love to know if you do have any information on sort of what the backstory is, that would be quite lovely. Because as again, there's so many people tuning in from different parts of the world and they're looking to discover new things and, and oh, you can watch it on cinema as well. Yeah, you can watch it on cinemas. It's still playing apparently. Ooh, that could be a plan for the weekend. It's it tricked says, by her boyfriend with the promise of a film career and persuaded to leave the countryside for Mumbai. In Mumbai, her dreams of a film career come crashing down as she lured into the, to the underworld. underworld. Got traffic or some shit. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what you're seeing there. I understand. I understand. Right. right. So maybe like, maybe she became more of an activist in that sense, in the sense of a uh, she sort of changed the film industry by becoming one of maybe one of the first sort of female um, directors or something like that. I don't Cause know. Because it seems at the end she fucking achieves it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's definitely some pool of power right at the end. I like the the classical approach to this because it, it's very... It, the, the chord progression and the way that the singing has been done, mm. it's very much more classical to, to the things that we have seen classical Indian music. Well, uh, it hasn't released. It hasn't released. Oh, it has released. It has. 24th of February. And it's still available on cinemas. Yeah, look. It's fucking mental. Yes, it is. You can watch it today. Oh. Nice. Well, let us know more about it, guys. And uh, apart from that, um, what else should we check out next? Okay.